What do you do when your mixing bowl tries to get away? Stay tuned and find out. Start by chopping up 6 ounces of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate. I used a combination of both. Melt the chocolate in a double boiler or use your instant pot. Add two tablespoons of coffee and two tablespoons of water. Stir until the chocolate is melted. The water should be just simmering. This recipe has two options for the egg part a raw egg mousse, and a cooked egg, so I try the cooked egg first. Mix three eggs with three tablespoons of coffee and three tablespoons of sugar. Set the bowl over simmering water, stirring constantly with a silicone spatula until it reaches 160 degrees. The bowl is so hot that the eggs are cooking against the side of the bowl. This is not at all how I envision chocolate mousse to look. I think the water is not at a gentle simmer. Good for melting chocolate, not so good for tempering eggs. So on to plan B. I'll keep the chocolate warm, turn the heat down a bit, and make the raw egg preparation instead. I just don't think there's any salvaging this mess. I add three egg yolks to the chocolate mixture and save the whites in a bowl. Whisk the egg yolks into the chocolate, and then forget to hit the record button when you beat the egg whites. Fold one third of the egg whites into the chocolate, then fold the chocolate mixture into the remaining whites.
Divide into six ramekins and then refrigerate for at least four hours. Start by chopping onion. I'll need one fourth of a cup. Melt one tablespoon of butter in a skillet. Add the onions and cook until soft. Place ground beef and ground pork in the bowl of an electric mixer. Add one teaspoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of black pepper. One fourth teaspoon allspice. One fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Two eggs. The sauteed onions. And fresh breadcrumbs that have been soaked in milk. Beat until light and fluffy, about two minutes. Melt four tablespoons of butter in a large skillet. Put potatoes on to boil. Brown the meatballs in batches, then remove and drain on paper towels. halfway through so all sides are browned. Bake dinner rolls. Remove meatballs when browned. They'll finish cooking later in the sauce. Repeat steps with the next batch of meatballs. Put carrots in the oven to roast. Add 
Add two tablespoons flour to the fat in the skillet. Cook and stir until lightly brown. Add two cups of beef broth. Cook and whisk until the gravy is thick and smooth. While the gravy is thickening, I cut up some strawberries for the top of the chocolate mousse. Check if the potatoes are fork tender. Add butter and milk and then mash the potatoes. The meatballs have cooked an additional 5 minutes in the gravy and are now ready to serve. Remove the meatballs to a serving dish. Add a third a cup of sour cream to the sauce. Whisk together and then pour the sauce over the meatballs. Don't forget the gravy. Let's eat.